One of the features that I liked the most about all the ultrasonic uh, cleaners that I looked at, including industrial cleaners, was that this seems to be the only one that has a drain on the side, so you don't have to pick the unit up to turn it over. So all you have to do is connect the hose, put the hose into an empty bottle or sink wherever you have your unit set up at and simply flip the switch and all the water will just drain right out and into your container to be able to uh, drain your unit. Okay, the control panel is this function key right here controls normal or deep cleaning push it once you get the uh, deep cleaning push it again and the normal cleaning uh, will take into effect this is the on off button <laughs> uh, and uh, this is the amount of time you want the cleaning cycle to be it's up and down this is the temperature. And that turns on the heat, which of course you don't want to turn on the heat until you actually put liquid in. So it's in Celsius. Okay, this is the example I'm going to use in the ultrasonic cleaner to show how well that it cleans. This is one of my bolt carriers from one of my AR-15s. Uh, you may look at it and say, oh look, it doesn't look like the normal one. Well, which it's not. It's an upgraded bolt carrier uh, titanium with gold uh, plated, which you, all the parts are, which you can't see because they're so dirty. Uh, I'll go over that in more detail in a different video of why I have those. I have gone ahead and gone and uh, put the solution in. It's with distilled water. And because the bolt carrier is so dirty, I'm going to go ahead and put a full ounce in. And what I'm using is the Turbo Sonic uh, Gun Cleaning Parts Solution. There's many different brands. This is the one I'm currently using. I can go over the different types in a different video in the future. So right now what we're going to do is I have it set for 60 centigrade. It's currently only 20 degrees, so what I'm going to do is close the lid. It's kind of like boiling water. And uh, it will go ahead and have to heat up now. And I'm going to do it for 21 minutes. I'm going to set the function to a heavy duty clean, which will do that for the first part, and then it'll automatically switch over to normal. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and turned on the unit while it's still heating up. It's not, it's not going to hurt anything, but I just wanted to get the demonstration going. Uh, this is stating that it's now in normal, and I have set it for 30 minutes, and so you have a nice countdown clock, and the blue light indicates that it's on. So you open it up, it gets noisier. You can see the parts in there and the water is jigging, which is the ultrasonic and getting the grease and grime off of there. So as you can see, the unit has uh, done its cycle. And if you look in here, in comparison to what the water did look like at the beginning, and this is only one bolt assembly, now I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Okay, this is the bolt assembly. Now you want to be careful pulling it out uh, if you reach down to the water because it is hot. It only says it's 51, but that's 51 Celsius, which that's actually hot. You see here the actual bolt carrier itself. I didn't do any pre-soaking on it or anything. All the black is gone. You can see down the inside of it. It's nice and clean. And it's now gold again. The firing pin do does still have some carbon buildup on it. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I did not do any pre-soaking of anything, and there is some left on the pin, but if you remember correctly, at the beginning it was completely black. 
So once again, if I would have actually pre-soaked the entire assembly while the unit was heating up, this would have come out completely clean. So I've set this up to drain, and it's just going into the plastic tub that I actually got the uh, distilled water from. And all I'll have to do is maybe take a towel and, and wipe it off. You don't want to leave water sitting, so you can either leave the lid open, or you can uh, wipe off the inside of the lid. I'll just leave the unit open for a little while. And the water drains out. I don't have to pick it up. If you see, you can really tell how black the water is from cleaning. And all I have to do now is oil the oil the parts, finish cleaning them in this case, oil them and uh, put them back into the clean rifle.